Do you hear that? A Christmas time tune. It's all Christmassy. And it's a perfect time to murder everything. Hello fellas and welcome to a game called Don't Escape 3. Now if you haven't heard of this game before, it's a really cool game and I really recommend it. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. I woke up with a terrible headache and as if someone hit my head really hard. Things were coming back to me slowly. I knew I was a pilot of the starship, the UEFS Horizon, but I had no idea how I wound up in here. I also had no idea what I didn't like more. The fact that I woke up in the ship's airlock, or the fact that the computer was counting down to something. Oh! Oh! Uh, um, um, uh, restore safety protocols! Abort ejection pro- Oh! Oh! That was close. Okay, so for you new guys around here, it's- this is a pretty simple game, so- oh wait, what? Open interior door. Exit. Okay, there we go. So on the top left here is my inventory, and that is me. Up here is the settings. Um, this game is pretty simple. I now have this what's called an emissions log data pad. Now what this is, is basically going to tell me various information and various tasks I'm going to need to do later on in the video. Mission log. We've located what le what's left of the de derelict. Something tore it apart like a tin can. We found something among the debris remains. I think they're human remains. We also found some strange glowing crystal attached to the bones. We brought it on board for further analysis. Dr. Grad Grodberg? Okay. We'll perform tests in the laboratory. Rick says there was another crystal floating in space. We'll have to check that later. Oh yeah, just bring the aliens on board. Yeah, you know. We're in a spaceship, let's just bring the aliens on board. Wonderful. Status. Accessing ship status. Navigation is offline. Communications are offline. Warning, the life support is offline. Air will run out in one hour. That doesn't sound good. Distress call activated. Warning, possible intruder alert. Shenanigan? Map. Life support control. Well, let's go there first then. So, life support. Oh, manual door release cut here. Okay, so we're going to need to release that door somehow. Is this... the console is locked. One of the fuses are missing. What's this? An empty flask. Centrifugal mixer. I can use it to mix components. Chemical analyzer. I can use it to analyze components. Okay, this is very sciencey right off the bat. It's locked. Ooh, what's this? A vial of antibiotics. What's this? Ooh, log four. Initial tests. Dr. Amanda Grodberg. Subject is what appears to be an upper half of a human remain. All of, the so all of the soft tissue is decomposed, which suggests that the death occurred long before its exposure to the vacuum of space. There is a huge crystal form attached to the bones on the abdominal region. The, the crystal itself produ produces a bright blue light. Despite being highly energetic, no further forms of radiation have been observed. However, it seems to be emitting subtle acoustic vibrations. Further tests are required. I won't open. The crystal at the other side is covered in blue crystal. I won't open. Oh, wait. Crystal is holding the door in place. Okay, so that's where the... Wait, that whole room has become crystal. I'm not liking that already, so we need to find a fuse somewhere as well. Oh, so that opens the door. Oh, so this is... I need to access... I need an access card to open the casings. Okay, so I need an access card. I need a fuse. It requires an access card. I don't have an ac... Oh! Welding mask. Someone stepped on it. It's crushed and useless. 
It's empty. The valve wasn't closed. A plasma torch. I don't know him well. His name was Rick, I think. I'm not going in there. I'm sorry, I'm not going in that thing. Oh, what's that? It's held in by some screws. Okay, so I'm guessing we're going to need a screwdriver. Ooh, a fuse. Well, that's useful. He's dead strangled. Ooh, log three. Message received. This is the V... This is the UEFS Warsaw. We've picked up your distress call. Oh, and we're resetting our course to intercept. Be advised, we won't be able to reach you for two days from your signal. We know oh, that your life support system has failed. If you are unable to make repairs, use the escape pod and await our arrival. Good luck. End of transmission. Oh, wait, there was another thing. Um, there was a security camera. Security camera feed is not available in this area. Navigation systems are disabled, probably damaged. Captain's console notice. System has detect has detector. You are not authorized to access as the sections of this console. Authentication required via the captain's access card. Mission orders log two. Your mission is to investigate the anomalous readings in the sector. We have detected what may be a signature of one of our old mining ships that went missing a few years ago. Move to the designated coordinates and scan the area. If any signs of lost ships are detected, investigate and report back. We found the old ship and something's murdered us all. Apart from me for some reason, that's quite, that is kind of weird actually. Anyways, let's go put this fuse in and um, Let's see what that does. Will it activate the lights, maybe? Oh man, I, don't, I still don't want to go in it. Oh god! Oh god! No! Please select an item. Yeah, yeah, I'll have a standard meal, please. Thank you. And I'll also have, um... I'll have a dessert, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. And and, and um, I'll have some alcohol. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, okay, yep. Yeah. Is that it? What's this? Ooh. Bottle of detergent. By the way, I do have COVID right now. Um, so that's why I may or may not sound a bit ill. I, that's because I am. I've got COVID, so... I don't have to use it right now. Okay. That's fine. Oh, I saw something then. Hang on. Oh, it's just another arrow. Okay. It had some blood on it. Fuel for plasma torch. Oh, am I going to have to use... Oh, wait, for the door maybe. Yeah. A disc labeled workshop blueprints. It's locked, but why? Ooh, some plant leaves. I don't need any plants now. Invalid code next failure will result in a 30 minute lockdown. Oh. Oh, fantastic. So that guy's dead. Wait, has this guy got anything on him? I could take some blood sample if I had a container. What? Why? Why would you do that? Science! I get it. Let's go in the lab. Maybe there's a container in here. There's a container! Okay. Let's go. Grab some blood off of that dude, because that nothing weird about that, right? Okay, I've got some blood. Okay, that's good. Right, let's go back to the lab. Maybe put it in the centrifuge? Scan complete results uploaded to your data pad. Chemical analysis, blood cells. We need to do chemical analysis for everything. 
Okay, so let's put that back in the sink. Okay, so the the detergent. What about the alcohol? Okay, alcohol. Food? No. Standard food rotation. Oh, okay, right, I see. Plant? A disc labeled workshop blueprints. Where would I put a disc? Okay, so let's have a look at these results that we've got. Detergent. Okay, so the detergent, the plant cells, the alcohol, and the blood cells. We need two more. What was that noise? What was that? Hello? Hello? <gasps> oh! Hello? Who are you? Hello? Was that you, Dad? <laughs> um... Nothing strange there? Escape pod. Can I not... <gasps> A key? What's the key for? Is it for, like, the door in this room? It won't open. Oh. Oh, is it for this? It is! And we've got some cool glasses, dude. Oh, it's protective glasses. Whatever. Okay, so in the chemical analysis... Blah, 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 we've got acid now. Oh, crystal dissolvent formula! Okay. So we need two of those, four of those, and three of those. Warning, this amplifies explosive materials. Use with care. I have a bad feeling about that. So, okay, so how do we even get to the, the, to the stuff on the other side? Surely we need something here. Fuel for plasma torch. Maybe I've got an idea. I need a tool of some sort. I've got an idea. Why don't we go and check this? Can I grab this? I can. Okay, so we've got fuel for it. We've got protective glasses. So why don't I link this to the fuel somehow? And with my protective glasses, sort of just... Hey, look at that! Oh. <gasps> Might be useful on access card. What is that? Could repair it with some sort of... with some tools. Repair it with a knife! I don't want to be in here for too long because it might actually kill me. So it could be repaired with some tools. I don't have any tools. Requires an access card. Well, we've just gained an access card. Oh, well, would you look at that? Some tools. Escape pod is ready to launch. Are you ready to... Are you want to use the escape pod? No. Oh, so we can use this later. Let's just find out a bit more of what's gone on, and then we'll escape. But wait, the game's called Don't Escape. So why would we escape? Anyways, let's go fix that life support. I think that's what it is anyways, so let's just do that. Uh, this task will take 20 minutes. Yeah, okay. Killed by vapors. Someone broke it, releasing the toxic vapors. I'd better leave this alone. Life support, okay. Workshop station. Ooh! 
Okay, so there's tons of stuff here. Wait, can I put the blueprint in here? I've uploaded the blueprints. Oh, high density con condensator, portable igniter, flux stabilizer, data pad MK2 processor. Whatever I put, I pour in here ends up in the fire sprinklers. Life support control. Activate main life support. Unable to come. Unable to comply. Life support system has been destroyed. Activate auxiliary life support. Three hours added. Okay. Warning: This system is insufficient. Air reserves still decrease. There was a thing in the lab, right? I wonder if. I can create... Okay, so there's this thing here. It says crystal dissolvent formula. Remember, we can't open the door right now because whenever we try and open the door, it says uh, it won't open. The crystal is holding the door in place. So what we do, let's add these... Let's find something with three... Well, three... Not that word because I can't say that word on YouTube, can I? Three of these t upside down T's one left side L and one right and well two left side L's and four right sides so three two four. Oh, so it needs to be three two four so if we add these two that makes three or no if we do these that's three two one but if I do this oh gosh okay so three Oh wait, no. Th two. So it's three, two, four, isn't it? So three. So it's these three. So we need detergent, acid, and blood cells because these two make three. These two make two. So three, two, and then these two here make four. So we need detergent, acid, and blood cells. Okay. So we need a bottle of detergent. Acid, and we need to go get some more blood cells. This is odd. I've never expected to do science in a video, but ooh. Okay, let's do that. We're still missing something as well. I don't know what it is, but if we put the blood cells in here. Begin mixing. Mixing requires 15 minutes to complete. Continue? Yes. Let's continue that. Mixing complete. Please use a lab flask to retrieve the mixture. Chemical mixture. So this is crystal dissolvent. Hear me out. What if we put this in here? Go to here and in fire sprinkler tests. In the isolation ward. Sprinkler system has been tested in selected location. Please uh, release 10 litres of circulated water. Found zero problems. Yes! Okay. So now... So now we can open this door. Oh god. Explosives with no igniter. My god, it's growing in her head. Dr. Amanda Grodberg, poor soul. Oh no. It's growing inside the crew. It's killing them. I mean, I'm guessing we're going to have to make some sort of explosive, because... I mean, we've got explosives. Didn't we have a security camera thing as well? It's not available in this area. Okay, so what if I go into, like, an area where there's someone being killed? Ooh! Security camera feed! In this area has been... Uh, this in this area has been corrupted and cannot be displayed. You can recover the video, but restoring the feed will require users' attention. The process will take approximately 30 minutes. Consider upgrading Pad's processor for faster decoding. Okay. 
Right, so let's go in here. Data pad processor. Uh, proceed with the selected blueprints. Constructing will take approximately 40 minutes. Proceed. Construction complete. Have a nice day. My personal data pad. Okay, so we've just upgraded the processor of that pad. Is that more efficient now to make this footage less corrupt? I don't want to be in here for long. The process will take 30 minutes. Consider upgrading pad's processor for faster decoding. Attempt to decode recording. But I did upgrade it, right? Oh wait, what was that? Log 5. It, I was wrong, really wrong. The corpse didn't rot for any period of time. It's been consumed by the crystal. It's been growing inside. Oh. Burst that man open and continued to grow. Using soft tissues as building material, I think this is what happened to the crew of the destroyed ship. And we might be next, as for now I'm working on a formula for something that would dissolve the crystal, or at least weaken it, so it may be destroyed by force. An explosion might work, the sound is getting louder. Are we gonna have to destroy the ship? Is that why it's called Don't Escape in this one? Are we gonna have to legit legitimately just destroy the entire ship? I have already built this, so Mark II... So what the heck, why is it telling me that... High voltage coil? So... I've upgraded it now. Okay, let's go to let's go to the captain's place because I think that's the most important death. Oh, what was that? Just going to ignore it. I'm just going to ignore it. Security camera. Security camera feed is not available in this area. Access denied. Navigational systems are offline. So can I see if this guy, how this guy died? Okay, so... Oh. There's a guy in a suit. No, he probably used the weapon for a tool. Oh no! That's brutal! Restore more corrupted video feeds to reveal the passcode. How much time do we have left though? Air will run out in 2 hours and 15 minutes. We won't have much time. If we, if we like decode this. But it says you can recover the video by restoring the video feed. It will require the user's attention. The process will take approximately 30 minutes. Consider upgrading the pad's processor for faster decoding. But I have upgraded it. Or haven't I? I have. High density data. Pro data pad MK2 processor. I've already built this. High voltage coil. Magnetic filter. Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, dude. 15 minutes. Dude, I could have saved 15 minutes. Okay. Oh, there's a guy with a load of blood on here. Oh, strangled? 
It didn't grow! Oh wait, it did! He was just shoved in it. Oh, poor Amanda... Whatever her name is. Okay, so we got 4-2. God, that, that noise is horrible in there. <laughs> Wait, there's a guy in here. This will explain a lot. Hang on. Security camera, yes. Dude. So, I rem he broke this, right? No, he broke the electronics. Okay, they're destroyed. Then he broke this. Then the gases came out. 429. And this guy died here. So, this guy. He had. We found him with a knife in him. There's an imposter among us! There's a. He's a kid! It's a kid, dude! Did he just go up to the camera? Wait, we got the passcode. We got the code. Passcode 4298. 4298. Is that. Am I dead? The suit is empty, and it has my name tag on it? It's growing inside me. I went to sleep and it used me to kill everyone. And then I, it tried to get rid of me in the airlock. Captain's access card? Okay. We're gonna need to stop that those people coming to get us then. We're gonna need to try and like just really stop everything. Okay, 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 okay. Access granted? Yes, please. Log, last entry. Audio transmission. Someone is killing the crew. Rick is dead. Jeff is dead. I've locked myself up, up on the bridge. I will send a distress call and Captain? Oh my god. Lieutenant, is that you? Yes, please let me in. I've locked the killer at, at, in the bunk room. Hang on, I'll open the door for you. Sounds of a struggle. Log ends. I killed the captain. I killed the captain. Self-destruct. Safety protocol. Safety protocols are currently online. Deactivate. Navigation systems are disabled, probably damaged. I can't do anything more here. We're gonna need to make the bomb. We can't terminate the transmission. We're gonna have to create a bomb. What did it say here? It said we needed three, four, two. Okay. So, for 342... Oh, did you see that? Look, my character! He's bleeding out of the gob. Not good. Okay, so we're gonna need 342... So for that... Wait... We're missing something. We're missing a thing. <gasps> Three, four, two. Antibiotics. Okay, we've got everything now. So we're going to need a three, a four, and a two. So these two make four. A three, four. Uh, hang on, let me just check this. Three, four, two. I think I've got it. Okay, so these three. Wait, no. So yeah, three. Four. 
No, because that would make... No, so, okay, 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 okay. These two are three, and that one four, and then that one two. So we need antibiotics, plant cells, and alcohol. So, alcohol, antibiotics, and plant cells. Begin mixing. Yes. We now have... Please use a lab flask. Okay. We now have this chemical mixture. Strong explosives with no igniter. Okay. So we've now got strong explosives. We need an igniter. Portable igniter. Proceed with the selected blueprints. Construction will take approximately 40 minutes. Proceed. Construction complete. Portable igniter. Put it on the engine. Detonate. Ship's contamination level, 100%. Something on board the Horizon killed everyone and tried to kill you. It had to be stopped. Dr. Grodberg's chemical recipe worked as intended, weakening the crystal and making it vulnerable. You tried to destroy it with a bomb by blowing up the whole ship. Just to be sure, a powerful blast us left nothing behind, or at least that's what you hoped. When you opened the bunk room, you learnt the truth. The crystal has possessed you. Somehow, those quite acoustic vibrations were enough for it to spread and start growing inside your body. You knew there was only one way out of it, so you did what had to be done. When you detonated the charges, the explosion consumed you together with the crystal. The UFS Warsaw found nothing Ink more than a scrap metal floating in space. Nobody knew what really happened until a strange glow was discovered among the debris. And that was Don't Escape 3. And I just unlocked an achievement called The Truth. We actually one shot this game and it took, it only took about 30 minutes. <laughs> That is an incredibly amazing storyline for, especially for like a 2D game as such. Um, if I had this game back in like 2010 or something, I'd be really happy. This was a very, very fun game to play. If you guys want to play it, it is um, on Steam in the links down in the description down below. It's, in, it's part of the trilogy. Uh, it's a very amazing storyline. We're going to be playing Don't Escape 4 next. Uh, and I'm very excited to see what it's like. This was especially, like, I loved this. I felt like I was in the story, and that's something really good that a game developer can do. The art style is incredibly unique by Armored Games. I wish they created more games as well, because I think, like, Don't Escape 4 was the last one that they had. So we'll be playing that next anyways, and you guys will see what it's like. But, yeah, this is an incredibly amazing game. But, yeah. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. And uh, other than that, I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.